So let me show you one of the caveats with the view. Notice here I've retrieved all the employees that live in London. Uh, London's a good city. I love it. Spent some time there. Uh, let's create a view from this. So create view people in London as, and then just the results of this query here. So, and then go, and then uh, don't blink, but I'm going to put the, the checks up. Okay, blink. Notice here I, I put my check there. If it exists, get rid of it. Create view, go. And then let's select flat from uh, people in London. Okay. So now we have the same same result set here, returned by our select query. Now I want to let's 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 uh, do something fishy here. I'm going to say I'm going to say insert into people in London values Jamie and King, and then go and then notice I have my select clause coming after the insert. So we're going to do the insert and then we're going to say, hey, show me all the people in London. So you would think that we'd gain another row here, the fifth row, and we'd get Jamie King. But when we run it, Jamie King doesn't show up. Now can you pause the video and think about why that happened? So go ahead and pause. Okay, hopefully hopefully, hopefully you got it, but think about it. This, this select first name from employees where city equals London. Let's just go back to the base table again and say select splat from employees. So highlight that and say a five and then let's see if I'm in here. Jamie King, there we go. And all this other information is null. Null, 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 null. A lot of null information. Okay, so when it says where city equals London, well, my city is unknown. It could be London. It could be Salt Lake City. It, it, we don't know. So null equal to London, remember with null that's a three-valued logic. It's not true, it's not false, it's unknown. And when the result is unknown, we do not obtain this row. So so uh, I don't show up. Even though I've inserted myself in, into the people of London, when I select from people of London, I don't show back up. I, I basically was thrown away. In fact, one way I think of this is this uh, photo here. Now this isn't me, I don't know who it is. but. But a while ago, I went and visited this pit. It's in it's around Cancun, Mexico. And, and what they told us is they would the Mayans would sacrifice their daughters or throw them into this pit. Just I guess it was a religious thing they did. I'm not quite quite sure. But anyway, that's basically what we did here. Is we threw me in the people of London, and then I disappeared. I've been sacrificed. So anyway, there's the if you don't want that result to happen, you can drop down here. You can say with check option which basically says hey don't allow people to insert rows into this view if those rows are not going to come back so now let's just run this whole script again oh look at this an error the attempted insert or update failed because the target view either specifies with check option which it does or spans a view that specifies with check option or one or more rows yeah yeah it's pretty long basically saying hey um you can't sacrifice to the gods here we're not going to allow it you know if you notice if we go back to that picture there's not really a fence around. Well, I guess there's this <laughs> rope, but if you really wanted to, you could jump in here. There's there's nothing really stopping you. And anyway, with check options like yeah, there's a constraint. You cannot insert something that won't re be returned um, when you requery this view. So there's one of the caveats of a view.